Hello? I mean, maybe it's friendly? Maybe? Oh, it is really dark in here. Hello there, guys and girls. How are you doing today? Welcome back. My name's Captain Oz. And today we're going to be playing a game called In Sound Mind. Now, In Sound Mind is, a, is an indie game. It's a psychological horror with... Uh, it's a story rich, got puzzles and... And all those other things that you, you might like if you're into those kind of games. And um, this is what Steam has to say about this, by the way. It says... In Sound Mind is an imaginative first person psychological horror with frenetic puzzles, unique boss fights, and original music by the living tombstone. Journey within the inner workings of the one place you can't seem to escape your mind. That statement in its own sounds freaking terrifying, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> now, all I've seen from this game is uh, a, a couple of the video clips that it's got on the um, on the actual game like platforms like epic or steam it has some really good reviews by the way uh, game escape pc invasion uh, screen run they they all give it like 10 out of 10 9 out of 10 four and a half or four out of five and um it looks absolutely fantastic from from the video clips that i have actually seen and i wanted to jump in that today with you guys no i do stream on twitch the link will be in the description if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, because it really does help out. And also, if you want to find out a little bit more about the game, and uh, or, you, or you're interested in, in playing it for yourself after watching this, then the link for this will be in the description as well. Uh, as well as other, all my other socials as well, so they'll all be there for you to peruse. And if you can hear it in the background, by the way, I do have a fan on because it is absolutely freaking roasting here in the UK at the moment and uh, you can't do anything with a fan on especially in 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 a room where the sun beams in through the window and you've got the computer going as well it, it just creates a massive oven basically so i do have the small fan on so apologies if you can hear that but without further ado let's play in sound mind They say, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> I killed the cat. Curiosity only brought her to me. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. I love cats. Wow, this is dark. It's even darker for you guys. It only makes a slight um, difference, but hopefully it'll make a lot more difference later on. So WSD to move and mouse to look around. So what have we got here? We've got a few boxes. Nothing special. Can we go in those? Can we check those? Doesn't look like we can. You can hear the ocean from here though. It can't be that far away. Then again, we just saw the trailer. It was like full of water. See, I am I am a bit of a dumbass sometimes, so I'll forget things within two seconds. <laughs> Alright, what we got here? Eat, collect, and interact. Notice. Catastrophe. Forget everything. Life, have you, life as you've known it is now out the window. All indicators are indicating stay inside. Well, spacebar is a toggle text. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the plus 100's for. Is that 
health could very well be. Let's go through the service hallway. Uh, left control to crouch. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not. It's a toggle. Okay, that's even better. I prefer toggle. Can I not pick up the bottle just so I can use it as a weapon? The hell? Oh, what's this? Kind of looks like you're on mushrooms, doesn't it? Interact with locked objects and open in open inventory. Didn't realize you had an inventory. Previous item, next item, use inventory. Speed, health, stamina, and stealth. <sighs> okay. So that would be the locked item? Oh no, it wouldn't. That would be the locked item, wouldn't it? Of course. It's a bit dark down there though, doesn't it? That's the workroom. You know what, I kind of want to check what that is first. Doesn't look dangerous whatsoever. Whoa. I'm tripping, man. I wonder if that's to do with the fumes. Maybe it's just um, a proximity thing. Oh, shit. I just saw something then. I don't know if I want to go this way. <laughs> I want to turn back. That's my mommy. Nope. Mm-mm. Okay, okay. Oh, I have to go through that door, don't it's I? Locked. There's a keyhole. I don't have a key. Okay, so we have to go that way. I am not looking forward to this. I want to take the bowl. I want to defend myself. Keep the door open for now. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Oh, he was in the vent. Okay, there's something up there. I have to get up there to get to it. Yeah! It's an old flashlight. Hopefully there are enough batteries inside. Or around. Sorry. This will come in handy. That's actually really good. 74%. Oh, good. That's how you turn it off. Sweet. I should be able to get into that other place now. So... How can I... Find out what's going on. Yeah, that's fine. I, I kind of wanted to bust that open, to be honest. I don't think I ha have anything. What the fuck? <gasps> fuck off. Nope. Mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Mm-mm-mm. No. No. That was terrifying. That was fucking terrifying. Fuck. Huh. 
Hello? I mean, maybe it's friendly? Maybe? Oh, it's really dark in here. Oh. Okay. Let's have a look around, see what we can get. So what do we got here? This workbench is available to all tenants. No outside use allowed. Management is not responsible for any injury you may inflict on yourself. Be safe. Please do not take any tools outside of this room. Superintendent. Okay, so that's obviously the uh, tool thingamajiggy, the, the workbench. What have we got over here? Oh, key! Key for the hallway door. Sweet! Anything up here? No. Man, we can jump quite away. So, we are in the workroom. We came from the trash room. That's a service hallway. Oh, so that thing came from the trash room as well? Maybe if we go back, we could find it. We need to go towards the hel elevator. I need to go towards the elevator hallway. Okay, let's jump up here a sec. Elevator shaft. That's probably where we need to go to, right? It's either that or the laundry room and go out that way. I don't know. We'll see. What have we got here? Ooh, 10 battery. I think that just... Yeah, that automatically adds it on. Okay, cool. See, I kind of want to go back just to see if that thing is here. Hello? Something up there, though. So how can I get into that thing, then? I need a weapon, is what it is. Can I, like, take that... That bar? That would be pretty decent. The oh, fuck? Not gonna lie, this game has my... back hair on edge already. So, how did that thing get through there? This looks weak. It looks fragile. There's nothing here I can pick up, though, is there? Doesn't look like it. For a storage room, there's not a lot of storage here. Just put now, though. Elevator hallway. Okay, let's go. It's locked. There's a keyhole. Uh, use. Okay, so you don't have to like select it per se. At least not yet. We might have to later. Oh, more batteries. Yes. Oh, get that ass mask from the boiler room. I don't like that. Gas leaks are hazardous to your health. If you smell, see, or hear a gas leak coming from the boiler room, leave immediately and notify me. Superintendent. OK. 
Okay, so I need the key to get into the boiler room. Basement rules and regulations. Basement is open 24 hours for residents only, no guests allowed. Building is not responsible for anything left in your pockets and ruined in the laundry. Workbench tools must remain in the workroom. Anything left or forgotten in the basement will still be here. Will still be where you left it when you come back. So that's towards the laundry room. Can we go this way? Doesn't seem like it. I think that's like upstairs, so... We have to go through the laundry room into the elevator shaft and beyond that way, I think. Tenants. Some of the washers have been short-circuiting. Fortunately, the fuses they use are universal. Still, if they act up, please don't try and fix it. Call me the superintendent. Cool. I might even have to try and amplify this a little bit more for uh, for YouTube, honestly. Because uh, even with the night filter, I have adjusted that slightly. But uh, even with the light filter, it doesn't seem to have uh, fixed it completely. I should have left that. Okay, so we've got a shaft there. It's a large electrical fuse. Cool, I'll take that one. F faster night? Increases your speed every three pills. Do I want to put anything in there? I don't think I can, to be honest. At least not yet. What's this? Nosy, ain't you? So, yes, I am. Hey, wait, wait, wait. This is more like... something there. This feels nice. Oh wow, actually uh, that burnt us a little bit. So how the hell am I meant to get over that? Can... Can I not kick something or whatever? Yeah, that did not do us any good at all. So I'm kind of guessing we'd come out that when that vent drop there. Uh, still haven't found anything to use as some kind of tool or weapon. Still, it's all good. I should have opened up something else for, for us to use. I don't know if I want to go upstairs. 
we need some kind of weapon to, to do something. So we're in the basement. Let's go. This elevator button is missing. Oh. We can't go to number one. I think. So let's go to number two. Kind of want to use the torch sparingly, honestly. 13. You know we're not going in there. But you know we have to. We're going to have to at some point. 237. And that's 13. Yeah, nothing bad's come of this before, has it? One oh eight. Why does that number sound bad? All seven five. Okay, let's go down here. Let's check the phone. I'm gonna leave that on for a moment. I've got a feeling we've got to go this way. What's this? Another battery? I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. That is cool. I like that. Where the hell did this come from? What? That's crazy! That wasn't even there a moment ago. Let's check some of these uh, some of these doors. Can't do that one. 108. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be accessible. 40. Uh, you know we've got to go to this one, right? 42. How did I miss this one before? And it's locked. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. And it's freaking locked. Rigged. Huh? Hey, uh, hey, 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 hang on a second. 475, that was up there earlier. If we came up here. And that one was... That one was number 13. Do these doors change every single time? The numbers do. That is so fucked up. I'll take those now. Let's check this way. Okay. That's kind of ominous, not gonna lie. Roof stairs. No doubt we've got to go in here. Desmond, Wales, Desmond, PhD. Wales. Okay, looks like we're going to go in here. How did I know that? Oh, my office? I'm Desmond Wales. Wait, wait, wait a second. It's, who are you, man? Who the hell are you? I will have you, Desmond Wales. I will have all of you. Not if I have you first. I told you. Can I use the PC? Doesn't look like it. Is that gonna... 
Yeah, it's gonna be the same. So we've got a cat, some squirrels. Not really much else to look at in here, is there, to be fair? Okay, let's go. <laughs> this has changed again. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Welcome. That isn't an at all ominous. Zero. Oh, Jesus. Let's go. This is my home. Kind of feels like I'm in a memory of sorts. Maya Pharmaceuticals. We at Maya Pharmaceuticals want to take to take the time and thank you for your continued support in our company and new distribution center here in Milton Haven. Your health and safety are our number one concern, not just as a company, but as our neighbors too. For more information on what Maya Pharmaceuticals is doing in your neighborhood, feel free to call 1-800-MAYA or email us with any comments or concerns at neighborhoodpharma at maya.co.biz. Thank you and have a blessed day. Marketing and Community Outreach, Maya Pharmaceuticals. Saw something in here. I mean, it kind of sounds like we're in a safe place. Ish. Certificates, diploma. Ooh, hello. I need more of this. Damn right. Now where's the rum? Why are you keeping the rum, damn it? The hell is that? That looks weird. Kinda looks kinda looks like an octopus. Ghost octopus? Oh, he's got a guitar. Sweet. So we've got the phone to check out. We have... Oh, a cassette. A white cassette tape. Did I record this? I must have. Oh, I'm going to put it in there. Let's turn the light off for a minute. Yeah, it doesn't sound like anybody's that. So, let's put the tape in. Milton Haven Emergency Broadcast System. Oh, I don't think I can put that in there, can I? Of course, this is a different kind of tape. Should have known better. I can play the guitar? No way. Actually, not bad. Does it sound the same again? I mean, it's something different. Nope, nothing in here. Go through the main door. Oh, I gotta pick up a key or something. Where was the key to? Nothing there. Can't pick up any of you. Let's turn that on for a moment. Let's try this. I mean, it did something different that time. 
Oh, hang on a second. I wonder. Oh, you have to be close for that. Yeah, you have to be close for that. Okay, maybe not. <sighs> Nothing up there. Nothing up there either. Sorry this is very dark by the way guys, I was not expecting it to be this dark all the time. As I said, I'll try my best to uh, increase the, the light, the brightness, as my needed. Okay, so that's basically disengaged, right? I'd love to be able to play guitar like that. Hmm. So just listening to your tape. Do I have to go back out this way? I'm such a dumbass. I have no idea if that was a memory or or what, but uh, oh, I can play that now. That's pretty cool. It's my record player. Oh, come on. Got no records. That's bullshit. Ugh. It's my okay. Tape player. Let's see what it says. Turning time back. Well, if only Cher was here, she'd be impressed. And that song would not exist. <laughs> okay, I, th I think that's pretty much it. Going through. Thank you. 